data is one of the most underappreciated threats to America's national security. And that is especially true when you're talking about Americans' data being exported to our adversaries. And it's already the case that the Chinese government or hackers based in China have stolen the personal information of hundreds of millions of Americans. As a result, I have been pushing hard to enact a law that would ensure that Americans' most private data cannot be sold off in bulk to countries that it would use it against us. So my question to you is I want to pick up on one of the earlier questions one of my colleagues just asked about uh, with respect to genetic uh, data. And because of the importance of this issue, Mr. Ivanina, I know you've spent a lot of time on this. How does the Chinese government actually obtain the genetic information of Americans? And tell us, for the record, why that's so dangerous to national security. Thank you, Senator Wyden. I think there's a couple aspects to this uh, question. First is to footstomp your message of China's demand for data. When we look at what they've accumulated in the last decade, I'll point to Equifax. 150 million Americans, all their financial data has been taken by China. I will say that um, it's unnecessary for China to procure or buy our data when they can come in and take it for free uh, because of our lack of cybersecurity defenses here, uh, provide an open door for them to take through spear phishing other, other vectors to get into our systems and take our data. With respect to DNA and, and genomics, uh, they'll use front companies like BGI, which is a company around the world, to set up stations to collect COVID samples and do fertility clinics. And every single time you do that, uh, you're giving away all your data to that node of that company, which, as we said before, is now beholden to the Communist Party. So as you provide genetics, blood typing, or any kind of COVID test, it's going to possibly go uh, to the Chinese Communist Party, which is why we must protect what we do here on our soil from companies like Quest and other diagnostic companies, which are in every single town, from being procured by the Chinese government. I'm, I'm going to also hold the record open because I feel so strongly about this. For any additional information you could give us on exactly how they obtain the genetic information, because that's the threshold question. You know, when American companies are being purchased, there's the CFIUS uh, uh, process that addresses the purchase of American companies. But the purchasing and export of the data itself is totally unregulated, which is why I feel so strongly about this legislation. And so if, Mr. Evening, in the next week or so, you could give us more information on how they actually go about doing it. Um, question uh, for you, uh, Ms. Puglisi. It's clear that the American government has been forcing the transfer of a number of valuable American innovations through legal acquisitions and illicit tactics. 